Welcome to our lecture online and since we know the um, identities for the sum and the difference of angles we're going to use that now to prove this particular identity. This is kind of a classic identity. We have the sine of a plus b minus the sine of a minus b divided by the cosine of a plus b plus the cosine of a minus b and that's supposed to be equal to the tangent of b. Doesn't seem likely but let's see what happens. So first of all let's write this out. So we have the sine of a times the cosine of b plus, if this is a plus, we make this a plus, the cosine of a times the sine of b. All right, so this is now represented by that. Let me put brackets around it, makes it easier to see that, minus this right here. And it's the same thing as what we had here, but if this is minus, this becomes a minus here. So we have the sine of a, cosine of b, and so minus cosine a sine b. Now we take the whole thing divided by, okay, with the cosine, it's a little bit different. So if you see if you remember, so this would be the cosine of A times the cosine of B. And if this is plus, this becomes minus. And now we get the sine of A times the sine of B. Put brackets around that. So this is now represented by that. And finally, we add to that what this is equivalent to. So this becomes the cosine of A times the cosine of B. And if this is a minus, then this becomes a plus, and this is the sine of A, sine of B. All right, now let's see if that result uh, completely turns into the tangent of B. So this is equal to. Now we want to get rid of these brackets and apply the negative sign over here and see what happens. So we'll write everything out. So now we have the sine of A times the cosine of B plus the cosine of A times the sine of b, and here we can write minus the sine of a, cosine of b, and minus times the minus becomes plus cosine of a, sine of b. And the whole thing will now be divided by, not quite a straight line, but anyway, so we have cosine of a, cosine b, minus sine a, sine b, this becomes plus cosine a, cosine b, and plus times plus is plus sine a, sine b. All right, now let's find out what simplifies. See, we have a sine a, cosine b, and a minus sine a, cosine b, so this cancels out with that. And this and this is additive, so this becomes 2 times the cosine of a times the sine of b. Divided by, let's see what simplifies in the denominator. Cosine A, cosine B. Cosine A, cosine B. That's additive. Minus and plus. So these two cancel out right here. And we add those two together. So we get 2 times the cosine of A times the cosine of V. Now notice that the 2's cancel. The cosine of A cancels. And we're left with the sine of A. Divided by, oop, not the sine of A. The sine of B. Divided by the cosine of B. And of course, sine divided by cosine, that is equal to the tangent, so this becomes the tangent of B. And, yes indeed, that is equal to what we had on the right side over there, so that's how we prove that. So this is actually pretty handy, knowing the sine of the sum or the difference of angles and the cosine of the sum of the difference of angles comes in handy in many different places, just like here, and it's pretty slick in how that works.